Hi guys, welcome back to the Retro Ghetto for another pickups video. Shall we begin? Okay, so it's been a few weeks now since I've done my second pickup video, this being my third. Um, so I've got some really nice bits to show you guys. Now, I would say this is more quality than quantity this time around. Um, and as always, I'll probably show the best stuff last. Um, before we begin, shout out to Rob Quick. He knows what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. So, I've just said it's quality over quantity. And the first thing I'm going to show you might contradict that. I picked this up from CEX. It was a pound. Let's take these stickers off. But no idea. I've never played this game before. Bullet Storm. Now, the reason I picked it up was it's got like this foil finish cover. It says it's the Epic Edition. And it just intrigued me. You know, like the box art on the back. It looked interesting. I've never heard of it. It was a pound, so I'm, I don't know how good it is. If you've played this, let me know in the comments below. Or, I mean, it's a quid and it's worth, worth a gamble for that. So that's pretty much any potential crap out of the way. Um, I think I've just got good titles in uh, pretty much. Um, what I should have done and what I will do now is show you the bits and bobs that aren't games. Um, I've got a couple of bits here um, that I've acquired along the way. So first of all, I picked up another switch dock. Um, I keep my switch dock in the bedroom, but I wanted to have one in the man cave as well. Ultimately, I'd also like to get one downstairs. I'm still on the hunt for another one. Um, after Christmas, these were going for a lot of money. But I managed to get this for like £23 posted, which I think is a good price. They didn't have any wires, but I've got everything I need. So yeah, nice clean switch dock. Tested it, it works. So yeah, good little addition. Um, what sort of way on the accessories? I got myself another PlayStation 3 God of War pad. I've already got one of these, but another one won't hurt. I got this really cheap. Now, this was on eBay as untested. We all know what that means. It means it don't work. I haven't had a chance to test it yet. So for me, it genuinely is untested. Um, but for £10, even if it doesn't work, I'll take the shell off and put it on a working one at some point. Um, to my knowledge, this is the only PlayStation 3 game variant controller. I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am. Um, but yeah, I've already got one of these knocking about somewhere, so it's nice to have a pair of them. I'm still on the hunt for the God of War Ascension PlayStation 3 console, the box, but it's very rare and silly money and usually beat up, so I'm still looking out for that. But yeah, so that's that. Two of them now. I might just have like a little sub collection and just collect loads of them. I don't know why. And the last thing here before we get to my games, um, I'll insert a little clip now of my Kid Robot Street Fighter collection. Um, the like little uh, figurines, yay big. Um, I don't know, I really like them. Um, as, if you've seen my game room tour, you'll know I collect Street Fighter and all the different figures, etc. I've got loads of Sota and. Um, what else have I got up there? Storm collectibles. Um, a lot of the action figures. Um, but I also collect the little kid robot ones, as I say. Now, this is quite a rare one. This is um, Mecha Zangief. And this was an SDCC exclusive. So I think it was only available at San Diego Comic Con. Um, so yeah, I was happy to add him to the collection. I've got quite a few of these now, so it's getting rarer to come across ones that I need. <clears throat> Quick sip of Yorkshire. Right, let's get to the games. So, what have I got in here? PlayStation 1. I keep saying every video, I'm on a bit of a PlayStation 1 kick. And this is a game that I've been actively pursuing for a while. I've had it saved on my uh, eBay save searches. I've just been waiting for one to come up at the right price. And that is Hercules on the PlayStation 1. Well, to give it its actual title, Action Game Featuring Hercules, which makes it a pain in the arse to find on places, because I just turn up in Hercules or Disney's Hercules, but technically it's Action Game uh, Featuring Disney's Hercules. So, yeah, I got this. It's complete, adequate go on it. It's a really good game. Um... It's a really good game. 
if you watch Game Chasers, my missus hates it when I do that. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a good game. This is one I will look to play for at some point. So I'm hoping to add this to the next video I'll do of completed games in 2020. If you haven't checked out my last video, which was the games I've completed thus far in 2020, give it a look watch if you don't mind. I really enjoyed making that. I think the 17 games I've completed thus far. I did like a very small review of each game. Um, so yeah, take a look by all means. Um, and whilst I'm on the hype train, please subscribe because I'm very close to 100 subscribers now. Every subscriber means a lot. Um, I'm give, doing a giveaway. I've got a really good prize. Um, so hopefully, once we get to 100 viewers, which uh, subscribers, sorry, it should be shared very soon. Um, I'll do a little competition, nice and easy, nothing major. I'm not going to get you answering silly questions. Um, and I've got a nice prize to give away. So if you haven't, please subscribe. Right, let's crack on. Dreamcast. Uh, my last pickups video, you saw I bought myself a Dreamcast, um, and with that, I bought Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, which was pretty much the reason why I wanted the console. Um, so, obviously, it's opened up a bit of a new avenue for me in terms of collecting. So, I'm looking at what's out there, what's available. I picked up really cheap, first ever, I believe, UFC game. Looks like it's Tito Ortiz on the front. I'm a big UFC and MMA fan. Shout out to Ben Cartilage. And whilst we're at it, please, if you haven't checked it out, watch a channel on YouTube called One Credit Classics. Um, my good friend Ben, he's an absolute wizard on retro games. And uh, yeah, he won credits games and does some live plays. So take a look at his channel. It's, uh, it's a brilliant channel. Um, he's actually an MMA judge, which is why I've shouted him out. But yeah, this is an amazing, um, I guess it's an amazing game. I don't know, I haven't played it, but it's an amazing sport. I love the sport of MMA. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued by this. I'm intrigued as to what characters are playable as well. That's the thing about some of these old sports games. It's like going back in time somewhat. Um, you know, seeing the rosters and characters you forgot about, fighters you forgot about. It's like old football games. It's, uh, I was playing sensible soccer the other day. And... Uh, who did I have up front? I had like Hartson and Ian Wright up front at Arsenal. Yeah, it's just like a nice little time capsule, isn't it? Uh, PS2, which is rare I pick up PS2 games now. Um, I felt like I had pretty much all the games I wanted. But then this cropped up. R-Type Final. I've recently been getting into my shooters. Um, or shmups, whatever you want to call them. Um, this one apparently is quite slow. Whereas it is a quite fast bullet hell. Um, but apparently it's it's very good. I've heard good things about it. So I'll definitely be trying this out. Yeah, art type final. Chill that down there. What have we got next? Should we do a bit of PlayStation 3? PS3, this is a CX find. Tomb Raider Underworld. Um, again. I say it every video. I'm a sucker for a cardboard box, a big box, a special edition, and this is um, all those things really. It comes with some nice artwork, bits and bobs inside. Apparently, it doesn't come with the DVD. It's supposed to have a DVD with it, but it was the same price as the normal game CX. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of money. I don't know, three quid or something. So I've never played this one either. I played all the early ones on the PS One, but then I, I fell out. Of, uh, keeping up with it so yeah one day I'm going to get into that and I also need to play the PlayStation 4 ones right next I think it was my last video you saw I picked up the shmup collection for the Wii U which is um, the latest Wii U release um, from a company called Pixel Heart based in France their other release was Finding Teddy 2 so there was this and shmup collection I am going for a full Wii U set. I've not been very proactive in finding games for it recently. But if new games come out, you need to take your opportunity whilst you've got it, because they will go for more money before long. So I'll keep these sealed. I've not really got any intention of playing them, to be honest. Not anytime soon. So yeah, don't know much about this game. If you played it, let me know in the comments. Finding Teddy 2. Always good to add to the Wii U. Okay, now I've got a few PS4 games here. Um, I'm going to have to change the name of my channel, I think, to Modern uh, Getter. Not that it's got the same ring to it. Um, as I've said before, it's getting to that point now, we're at the end of the PS4 life cycle. Let me just readjust my camera. 
we're getting to the end of the PS4 life cycle, so the games are getting a lot cheaper. Um, if I go to CEX and I find Steelbook Specials Editions for a good price, I'm going to pick them up. So there's a few here. This first one, actually, I think was an eBay find. Um, this is a great game. Batman Arkham Knight. And this is the special edition. Now, I played through this game when it first came out all the years ago. When was it? 2015. Wow. Yeah, I played through it. Played through the story mode. I didn't do all the Joker mission, a Riddler mission, sorry. And, you know, there's a lot to this game, a lot of side quests. So I will dive back into it one day. But it's a really nice steel book. Look. See it? It's in mint condition. I think I picked this up on eBay for like 11 quid posted or something. So, yeah, happy with that. There's rumours as well that there's a new Batman game getting officially confirmed very soon. Awesome. Um, next, this was a CEX find. Borderlands 3 on the PS4. And again, Steelbook. It's £12. I mean, the CEX in question is the one in Burton. Shout out to Manesh, the manager there, top bloke. Um, some CEXs with them being different franchisees, they they put the steel books behind the cart and roll the mark them up. But at this one, they're just in with the rest. So I always flick through all the games and try and find steel books. So this was £12, same price as the standard copy. Um, I actually played this quite a bit. I put about 10 to 12 hours in it when I first got it. And it's very fun, very enjoyable. It's probably better playing with a friend, um, co-op online. I ran out of steam a little bit, I got a bit bored. I did about nine storyline missions. Read online that there was about 23, 25 to do. And I just thought there's no way I'm gonna be in here for another 20 hours or so. But it is a good game. Like I say, probably better with a friend. Got a bit samey, to be honest. But yeah, 12 quid. Right, next. Another game I've been after for a while. Days Gone. I heard mixed reviews when it first came out. I think it maybe is a bit guilty of a bit overhyped, getting people overly excited and people expecting a bit too much. But this game I'm currently playing, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, this is the Steelbook edition, so you see it comes with not only the sleeve cover but the basic, and also the Steelbook. So I went into it with not a lot of expectation because I knew how polarising it was when it came out and I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. Um, I can see why it might be a bit tedious for people. It's a bit of a slow grind um, and I think it's very long. So there's no guarantee it's going to be on my end of year games completed. But at the moment, I'm enjoying it. If you've played this or you played through it, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think it's worth completing it. But um, I got this. How much did I get? This was eBay, this was. It was about £20 which uh, was a good price. It tends to go for between 25 and 30. So, uh, yeah, day's gone. So that's, you know, three nice PS4 Steelbooks added. Um, if I can pick these up in good condition at a good price, then I'll start to grow my PS4 collection now. Okay, I said I was going to save the best for last. I've got a couple of nice pieces here. Um, we'll do Switch first. And we've got this... Signature Edition Streets of Rage 4. Now, I think it was my last pickups video, maybe the one before. Uh, I showed you that I had a copy of Streets of Rage 4 for the Switch from um, Limited Run Games, American company. And it ends up costing about 45 quid by the time you get it posted to the UK. So when I saw this for 50 quid, I was a bit pissed off. I thought, well, an extra fiver. This comes with like pins and badges and a bandana and uh, art book and all sorts of bits and bobs so what i did was as soon as i saw this was coming sold my copy so I sold my copy for about 40 quid spent the extra 10 or so to get this that's why it's still sealed because i played through this um using the last copy that i had and don't i don't necessarily um, keep things sealed i'm not a sealed collector but i've just got no reason to open it yet but it's nice to have so yeah this is by a company called who is it by? It doesn't actually say on the box. Signature edition. I'll pop it up on the screen. Unless it's signature edition. Anyway, 
it will say down here if you're interested grab it while they've still got copies because it's sure to go up in price i mean 50 quid for a nice big collector's edition like that fill your boots okay so last but definitely not least i played the cex roulette um and i won for sure so what i did was i had a saved um alert on my cex camp to notify me when this game came in stock Simply because it's dirt cheap compared to eBay prices. I think they sell it for 25 whereas on eBay you could be paying £10, £15 more than that. Now, obviously, you roll the dice, you don't know how it's going to come. It could be no manual, it could be beat up. But luckily, I played the CEX Lottery and won. And that was a nice copy of Comic Zone. Now, it's complete manual. Game's in really nice condition. It's even got the hanging tab. And it's even the original box because it's got the sticker on it for the um, limited edition soundtrack music CD. It hasn't got that, but I'm not going to cry about that given the price and everything else. So, uh, yeah, Comic Zone. Really nice edition. Great game. Classic for the Mega Drive. Love adding to the Mega Drive. I've said this before. My heart is with Super Nintendo. That's what I grew up with, but... I've got 150, 160 box games and I'm almost at a point now where I find it difficult to find games I actually want that I don't already have that aren't stupid money. So at the moment I'm really enjoying collecting the Mega Drive stuff. So yeah, Comic Zone. Probably the nicest edition. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That concludes my third pickups video. I've already got things on the way, which I know will be here for my fourth one. As I say, I have a couple of nice pieces. Um, I should probably actually say for those of you playing along at home that watch my video game tattoo post, that I've had a bit more work done to Kratos. So I've had a bit more shading, I've had different bits on Bob's put in, so I'll keep you updated on that. It's almost finished. Um, and yeah, as I say, please subscribe. We're going to do a giveaway. Hopefully my next video will be me announcing what my giveaway is um, once we hit that 100 subscribers. So keep it retro. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.